in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the different scenarios as well as scenario options available in Command P. So when you first come to the main menu, you're going to have a couple different options as far as approaching scenarios. You have the ability to start a new game, which brings you right to the scenario options, or you have the ability to go ahead and create a new scenario, edit a scenario, play a quick battle, which is basically a scenario that is generated on the fly, or even access different campaigns that you have at your disposal. To create a new scenario, or I should say to start a new scenario, simply come up to start new game, and it will give you a list of all the different scenarios you have at your disposal. Note that you have typical scenarios that come with a scenario, as well as any saved games you have located here. At the top, you have the ability to sort the different types of scenarios based on name, date, difficulty, or complexity. So if we wanted to, for an example, we'll go ahead and take a quick look at a very, very basic one, a cargo tutorial. You'll notice that when you select a scenario, it gives you a bunch of different options over here on the right page. First one is going to give you difficulty. Difficulty is set by the designer of the scenario and is not any sort of measurement. Complexity basically lets you know how many different units are going to be in control at one time during the scenario. Generally, very complex scenarios take a much, much longer time in order to execute. They also tend to be a little bit slower running because of the sheer number of units. This is another value that is set by the user. It is not calculated in any way. Also on scenarios, you have the ability to read any sort of set briefing, which can be written up in HTML if you desire with any appropriate graphics and things like that. So if we wanted to go ahead and try the scenario, we simply could select it, press load selected, and now it will engage the scenario. When you first start a scenario, it's going to bring you the side selection briefing page. This is where you can select your sides, assuming there are multiple sides at our disposal. In this case, we only have just one. And it will also give you a more detailed briefing depending on who drew up the scenario. If you're ready to start the scenario, you simply click on the enter scenario button. It'll load everything up and bring up a page that says scenario features and realism options. What this particular page does is it's going to notify you what different options that the person who designed the scenario feels should be done as far as realism. And any green check marks means it's enabled. Any red X's or white X's on the red background simply indicate it is not selected for the scenario. We will go over what these different features mean in a different video. Once you're happy to start the scenario, you can simply set print in scenario, and it will tell you right at the beginning what the expected duration of the scenario is. If there are any sort of messages, it'll immediately pop up. We press close and resume, and now our scenario has begun. If we want to go back to the scenario page, we can simply go back up to the start menu and then select a new scenario. Also new in this particular version of Command is the ability to create a quick battle. What a quick battle is, is basically going to be a scenario that is generated dynamically depending on what you select. Now, for example, if I wanted to do a simple air-to-air -air engagement, I could select how many of these. Let's say I want uh, two, let's do F-16 CMs, and we'll say that they have uh, five. I will go with uh, MiG-29 M2s. We'll say the starting distance is uh, 25 nautical miles, and we'll also say that they're in tight uh, radioactive. We're going to make that one off. Local time, we can even set what the different weather is. Once I press the start button, it will run a quick little algorithm in the background that'll actually generate this scenario completely dynamically. And everything you see here was, like I said, completely dynamically generated. Now, if you were to load the scenario up into the actual mission editor, you could actually go back and make changes to it as well, depending on what you're looking to try to do. Also on top of our scenarios, we have the ability to run campaigns. Campaigns are basically extended series of scenarios. Each one of these campaigns is, uh, depends on what you have available, but basically when you select one and start running them, depending on the outcome of certain scenarios, it will lead you to a different path in the actual campaign itself. Note, at any point, you can go ahead and resume any of these from save. So if I were to start a new campaign here, it'll give me an entire detail as far as details goes. Go in here, and it'll walk you through the exact same system that you saw when we were opening up scenarios a little bit earlier. I'll probably go ahead and press the enter scenario, and of course I could come back and start planning out anything that I need to do here for the different piece. The last thing you're going to see under scenarios is the ability to create a new scenario or to edit a regular scenario. Note that if I click on edit scenario, it'll give me a list of every scenarios and every one of the different campaigns we have at our disposal. If, for example, I wanted to open up one of these tutorials, it would open the same way that it did before. The only difference is we're going to have a brand new set of options at the top of the screen that give us the ability to dynamically edit the scenario. Or in some cases, we can go ahead and use special view settings so that we can see exactly what's going on on the screen at any time. Often when scenarios are being developed, uh, they can be used to kind of go back and tweak them very quickly, save them, and rerun them as a regular one. Note that when you run a scenario normally from the start menu, clicking start new game, you will have no editor capability. You will have to edit the scenario in order to go ahead and use it.